Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So in my last tutorial I had this hairstyle going on and pretty much every other comment that I got on that video was to do a hair tutorial. So that is what I am here to show you guys today, exactly how I did this hair look. So yeah, if you would like to see how to get this, then please keep watching. So I'm first starting off with just combing my hair through with my tangle teaser to make sure there are no knots. And then what we want to do is we want a centre parting and then we're going to take that parting all the way down our head to get two separate halves like you can see me doing here. And then you want to bring both halves to the side and then tie one half away with a rubber band. You can use a clip if you want but I just find rubber bands so much easier. And then you want to make sure you've got another rubber band in your hand ready for the next step. So for the next step we are going to make kind of like a really long rectangle at the front part of our head and then split that into two and twist it away from our face three times. Once we've done that, we want to grab some hair from both sections, put them into the two sections and start twisting. So I like to use my thumbs to grab sections in the two strands and then twist them away from my face. And you want to basically keep, keep, keep doing that until you finish all the hair off on that side. So here you can just see me repeating all those steps and you want to make sure this is as tight as possible. You don't want to make sure that it's loose or anything like that. We want to keep it really, really nice and tight. So here I'm just finishing the whole of the hair off and you want to make sure you try, try to take kind of like even sections as well because you want to make this twisty part look as neat and even as possible. So here I'm just making sure that I'm twisting away from my face, so over and under the twist that we're doing until we've reached the bottom of our hair. So what I like to do right at the end is make sure that that section is looking good and there are no lumps or bumps and if there are I just redo that side. So here I'm taking the end section and making three stands and then basically just doing a normal braid all the way down to the bottom of my hair. So here you can see me just doing my braid as usual and just going all the way down and once I have reached the end of my hair I am going to go and tie that all away. And this is just going to keep the twist at the top and the whole of the braid very nice and secure and it's not going to kind of make any of the hair fall out. So now once we've done that we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So we're going to grab a small rectangle section at the top of the head and then we're going to split that into two and then we are going to start twisting. So we're going to twist it three times without picking up any hair at all and then we're going to use our thumbs to grab hair and add it to those sections and start twisting away. And it might sound really confusing when I'm trying to explain it but it's so easy once you start doing it and the more you practice as well. So you want to make sure that you're grabbing sections and then twisting it into itself and away from the face because that's the kind of look that I wanted to go for. I wanted to make sure that it, all my hair was kind of moving outside of my face into my hair and it just gives it a really nice open look. So here I am just continuing the same process all the way down my hair and I've tried to keep pretty much every single clip in this to show you guys exactly all the kind of like struggles that I have as well when I'm doing this. Um, but you want to make sure that your sections aren't too big. I took medium sections and you can take smaller sections if you want to make it look a little bit more intricate than this. So now I am splitting that half into three and we are just going to go and do a normal braid and we're going to braid the whole of that section all the way down to the end. And because we've already got a rubber band in our hand on our wrist, it's going to be really easy to just tie that all away once we get to the end of the hair. You want to also make sure that when you're doing this twist and braid, it's very, very, very close to your scalp. You want to make sure that it's really, really tight and that it's really secure as well. So here I'm just tying that section off and then it's time to grab those two kind of pigtails that we've got and you want to tie them all into a ponytail like you can see me doing here and this is going to make sure that our look is very nice and secure and then if you have any kind of lumps and bumps what I like to do is I smooth them down and then get a bobby pin and just pin that in place so it stays 
kind of secure to your scalp. And always cross your bobby pins as well when you put them in your hair because that's going to be more secure. So here I'm grabbing one strand and then I am basically just tying that all round the other ponytail. And then gripping all of that into place to make sure that, that it's nice and secure. And then taking some of my Elnet Satin Hairspray and just spraying any little areas that need a bit more help on to my head so that it's nice and sleek looking. And then we're going to grab that other section and twist it in the opposite direction. And what I did here actually was I tucked that piece into my hair because there were some gaps which allowed me to do this. And then I'm going to get some U-pins and start pinning that section down to make sure that it's nice and secure. And pinning any kind of fluffy sections away as well so it's looking as sleek and neat as possible. And here you can use as many or as little bobby pins as you feel that you need. And just giving it one last hairspray as well just to make sure everything is looking nice and neat. And here you can see another piece of fluffy bit so I'm gonna just pin that down as well to make sure that it's nice again and sleek looking and there's no kind of lumps and bumps so just giving it one last hairspray just to make sure everything is nice and neat at the front of my hair and a little tip that I do have is it's great to spray your fingers if you have any flyaways like I did right there and then just smoothing those pieces down and that, you guys, is how I created this milkmaid twisty braided updo. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. So many of you had requested it in my last video, so I had to get a video up for you to show you exactly how I did it. I really do want to do more hair tutorials on my channel so please leave me suggestions of anything you'd like to see. It is a little bit more tricky filming hair tutorials by yourself but I am aiming to do more on my channel because I do definitely love doing them. But yeah if you liked this video and would like to see more hair tutorials don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I think that's all I have left to say so I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye!